I went down and watched a, a flat track race and I was like, I gotta do this. So I uh, built a flat track bike. I was pretty terrible at it, but it was so fun. Right. And I realized that bike sucked and then I built another one. It just kind of evolved from there. What's up guys? I'm Jake from Prism Supply. Welcome to our series, My Garage. In this episode, we're in Bonsville, California, featuring my friend, Paul Hartman from Paul Craig Motors. Paul is a farmer, a pig dad, a motorcycle mechanic, collector of anything vintage from 20s, 30s, 40s, and a great dude. I'm excited to go see your garage. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Paul, you have an incredible space. I love it already. I know we just stepped foot in here. Give me a kind of rundown of the overall space. Maybe 20-ish bikes right now. And I just tinker with old stuff. How old of motorcycles are you typically working on? Yeah, pretty much anything pre-war, like 1941 or older. I like the 20s a lot, 30s, teens. That's amazing. This is like my ideal garage, like the cleanliness of it, the style, the organization, colors, plants, banners. Have you always been that way? You've always been visually like yeah, I mean, into it? I try and I like things that are visually appealing, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I wanted to create a space that that feels good somewhere where I want to hang out, yeah. you know, and, and just spend all my time. So, you know, sometimes I'll just come and sit on the couch and just stare at a bike or just look around the shop and kind of get inspiration. In the shop, you have, obviously have like a bunch of tools. You build engines as well or assemble engines? I try to do everything as much as I can. I, I build the motors. You know, the little hot rod tricks, hop up stuff, you know, I, I do all that myself, so. Right. It's a, it's a learning thing for me. I've been kind of figuring it out over the last couple of years and. That's gotta it's be. It's kind of trial and error, but it's going pretty good. Right, that's gotta be fun to like start with a stock engine. That's yeah. like fully stocked to specs. Yeah. You race that, take it back and you say, well, I think I can modify this or I think I can modify that to give it more power. Yeah, exactly. And then I've been fortunate enough to like talk to some old timers that have been doing it forever and they've given me some tips and I've you know taken notes and so that's helped me a lot too. So how did you initially get into motorcycles? Was it something from your dad? Was your dad into it? He was always kind of a motorhead. You know, when he was a kid, he always wanted go-karts and cars and stuff and he never really had it. So when I was probably six years old, um, we built a go-kart together and we got into that and went you know full steam into it and then we started racing carts and then we built a car and we started racing cars and. And I always wanted to get into bikes. I had a little mini bike that we built when I was probably seven or eight. Just kind of evolved into motorcycles over time and I kind of just went full bore into it. I liked the old stuff and I just kept kind of going older and older from there. I went down and watched a, a flat track race and I was like, I gotta do this. So I uh, built a flat track bike. I was pretty terrible at it, but it was so fun. Right. And I realized that bike sucked and then I built another one and it just kind of evolved from there. Incredible. Yeah. So what's the, what's the story of this bike? Uh, this is a 1938 UL flathead Harley and it's, it's killer. You know, it's uh, and an incredibly desirable motorcycle. It is. Yeah. Um, they're, they're just cool and it's got I just love the look of it it's it's old it's it's you know it's got just a, a cool color just the, the crustiness of it and some of the period mods like the little Hollywood bar and yep. you know the buffalo seats and I just love this thing it rides so good it always works it's just a killer bike this is your bike this yeah is this, is my bike. Bike. this is my favorite bike it, your last name is Hartman yeah but this is Paul Craig Motors I'm confused. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Craig's my dad. Okay. Um, yeah, I just kind of uh, went by that. Um, Paul Craig is is just kind of what I've gone by. I mean, that's my Instagram account. Right. And yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just messing around with it. Not really, uh, it's not like an official company or anything right. serious. I'm just kind of building bikes and I kind of go under that name. But uh, yeah, just kind of paying tribute to my dad that got me into this stuff in a sort of roundabout way. What year is this? Uh, that's a 38. Okay. And this thing, it's been restored. It is all original. Uh, it was AMCA judged. It's a, it's like 99.5 point bike. Mm -hmm. um, they docked it like half a point because they said the paint was too nice. <laughs> but everything on so it. So the paint was nicer than factory. Is nicer than factory, but it's the right color. 
the right striping, everything is like, it's 100% original, but it's, it's always kind of a revolving amount of bikes. And when you get the ones you really love, you keep them and some of them move on. Right. You know, finding, finding good homes for bikes, I can't keep them all. You know, I like to find them and, and collect them and, and it's always fun to, you know, share them with people. You know, right. have people come over and ride bikes with me or just come hang out in my space and, and enjoy the stuff, you know, learn about it. And, and, yeah, because uh, you, you, you are a historian. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, sort of, not really, but. You know these bikes a lot better than majority of us do. Specifically the flathead stuff. Yeah, no, nothing compared to some of the old timers that have been doing it forever. But you know, and those guys have passed it down to me, and I've learned a lot from them. And it just it's gotten me excited about it, and I'm continually learning. And and um, you know, I, I'm kind of kind of doing the same thing. You know, when other people ask me about it, and I try and share some knowledge. And you know, when people get excited about it, it makes me happy. So I try and you know keep it going. You know, I really love the 20s motorcycles, like the JD is just like, it's one of my favorite bikes. Because it's so minimalistic? It's minimalistic and it's just, uh, yeah, they're just simple. They're simple and they're cool and they're lightweight. They have a good stance, they're a nice size. That's what you makes know, they, a they, good race bike. They make a killer race bike, you know. I'm, I'm kind of taller, so, you know, I've raced like, Flathead, like 45 WLs, WR, stuff like that. And they're kind of smaller. The JDs sit a little taller, they're a little longer. And they just have a good stance. They're really easy to ride. And they're just killer bikes. So Paul, earlier you were telling me that this came off of a farm. What's the story on it, again? Yeah, it, it came from Northern California. It was um, a farmer that had a Harley JD and he turned it into a, an implement. It's a, it was running a water pump. So it's just, it's a bottom frame from a JD. So it's still a stock JD frame bottom. Stock JD frame bottom, stock JD motor. Um, and he just put a straight crossbar in the top and he had this thing running a water pump on his farm. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, people back in the day were resourceful and turn a motorcycle into a water pump. So yeah, it's kind of a neat piece. I was, I bought it to use the motor to build another bike, but now that I look at it, it's kind of a piece of history the way it sits, so I haven't messed with it. Yeah, and it's perfect to tell that story when people come into yeah, your space. Yeah, it's kind of neat, yeah. Sick. I wonder how it worked. So like, obviously you had a chain. Chain drive, from... yep, to the transmission, and then you could just shift the transmission for, you know, different- How fast you wanted How fast the water pump you wanted it to go, and, and uh, I would assume that's how they were running it. That's what it looks like. That's crazy. So you have all these motorcycles. We haven't covered your killer roadster yet. You got a 29 roadster? Yep, 1929 Ford roadster. Old uh, hot rod style. So this is a real Henry Ford. Real deal Henry Ford, all steel body. It's a 29, it's on a 32 chassis, which is a little bit better, a little stronger. It's a little wider. The car handles better. And it's, it's pretty original. It's got a flathead V8 motor in it. So it's kind of cool with this, I can just, get in it, ride, have some fun. Motorcycles are sometimes a pain in the ass. <laughs> so this thing is just pure fun for me. I, I personally would like to know more about your skate background and skate industry and... Uh, skateboarding is my career. Um, I work in skateboard manufacturing industry, making boards for a lot of different brands, over 200 different companies. I actually ran a skateboard company back in Minnesota where I was raised and um, I developed a good relationship out here with the manufacturer and uh, actually moved out here to go into that role. Um, and now I'm, I'm working with him and um, production manager over there. So I am working with all these brands and artists and, and formatting graphics for print on skateboards and you know managing production through to get the boards made and in hand and graphics on them and out to all the brands and so. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool job. It's fun. It's great. Yeah. But yeah, I'm really lucky. I mean, we live out here in the country. I can walk out of my house. We've got all our horses and animals and donkeys up here and I get to hang out with them and say hi. And then I just walk down here to the shop and tinker with old bikes and, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty killer setup. It's I'm amazing. Fortunate to, to be in this position. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I love the space and I love everything about it. Yeah. Well, thank you.
Thank you. Appreciate it. That's it for this episode of My Garage. Paul, thank you so much for opening up your garage to us. You have an incredible space. It's so clean, it's so organized. <laughs> Killer collection of motorcycles, hot rods, skateboards, surfboards, you name it. Where can, uh, where can somebody find out more about you? Uh, I'm on my Instagram, at Paul Craig, uh, two eyes. Two eyes, all right. Two eyes, C-R-A-I-I-G. Sweet, Paul, yep. thank you so much, dude. Absolutely. Let's go ride some motorcycles. Let's do it.